everybody, to Nam Day 3. Day 3, Yay. well, we, look, we made far, it to Day 3. We look far tired than Nam Day 1. You still have a voice. Yeah, yeah. So, my name is Matt, here with O2, and to my left is, of course, Oh, look at that. That was supposed to be next slide. It was going to be awesome. <laughs> what happened? Uh, there, 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 there it is. that guy? Jordan Rudis, one-fifth of the progressive rock band Dream Theater, 50% of the reunited Rudess Morgenstein project playing Tarkus today. Thank and, you for the uh, commercial. Yeah, there we go. And 100% of just Jordan Rudis. <laughs> so, all right. Let's talk a little bit about what we've got new for 2013 here at the NAMM Show from Mo2. We're going to be debuting Symphonic Instrument 2. Symphonic Instrument 2 is an awesome library that you can load as a standalone uh, so app, as a plugin, and you can also load it inside of the Mach 5.3 universe as a UFS file. And when you load it inside Mach 5.3, you will get all the scripting and articulation capabilities, everything that you would have in the standalone and, and plugin version of it. It looks really amazing. Some wonderful graphical elements. Everything that you need is right at your fingertips with it, which is really cool. Everything that you want to adjust is right there. So if you're a tweaker, you want to get in there and fix those orchestra sound, make them sound exactly the way you want to, you can do that. It's a really cool convolution reverb. Approximately 16 gigabytes of sampling. That changes by the day. They keep adding more and more neat things into this library. As you can see, lots of different libraries for us to check out. Some nice brass, violin, woodwind sounds, some individual instruments, harp and guitar, choir. So whether you want to build an ensemble on your own, or whether you want to use a pre-made ensemble. So you can use a string sound, or you can load up violins, violas, cellos, basses, and have them automatically play in the correct ranges. It's really, really, really cool. Historical instrument complete with skulls. I wonder how we took that picture. It's been upgraded to use the UBI Engine XT. Isn't that awesome? I can see by your face if you think it is. What that means to you is that we have 64-bit compatibility. All right, now that, that, that is awesome. 64-bit compatibility in both Mac and Windows platforms. So you can actually load up all of these massive libraries that we get with all your other stuff. We've got so much of it. We have, we have almost every instrument that uh, we make loaded up today in this very giant file. So running in 64-bit, very, very cool. You can load up a lot of stuff. As I said before, in addition to being on its own, you can load this sound into the Mach 5.3 software sam sampler. So you can take your Symphonic Instrument 2 sounds, open them up on their own in its own plugin, or load it up as a Mach 5.3 sound bank, which is really cool. When we're talking about Mach 5.3, of course, we're talking about it in software that is truly spectacular. Their words, not mine. Computer Music and Music Radar voted it the best soft sampler of the year. So we're really proud of that. Mach 5.3 has the ear cap technology inside for time and pitch stretching. We'll take a look at that today. You can use it as a creative tool, but you can also use it just when you're making your own samples. The time and pitch stretching technology allows you a lot of flexibility in making some really cool samples and perhaps not having to sample every single note of your instrument. It's really good quality. Mach 5.3 comes with the Biosphere that we'll demo today. The Biosphere is a collection of synth patches. Some of them are sampled from your favorite classic synths of old, and some of them are actually generated by Mach 5.3's extremely powerful synth engine. So Mach Rhythmic bass, I hit them all.
switching. 